So a couple months ago, I reviewed the DS918 Plus from Synology. This is a network attached storage or NAS and basically gives you the option of having a storage solution that we keep your file in one location. Now, I've done a couple videos on the NAS. I've done a Plex setup, it has a lot of capabilities. Uh, today, I will be showing you guys how to set up your entire security system on this network attached storage. Before we jump into the setup, I want to give a big shout out to Synology for sending the NAS out to me. Also, I will be putting links in the description where you can pick it up. Also, big shout out to Amcrest for sending out two cameras for me to test out. These are two 1080p cameras. They do have the pan, tilt, and zoom function. Before we jump into the setup of the app on the network attached storage, first let's go ahead and unbox these cameras and see what's inside. All right, so I'll go ahead and slide it out. Put that to the side. My new little friend. So we have a quick start guide. We have an insulation CD. Let's go ahead and pull the camera out. Put that to the side for now. And so here we are with the contents of the box. So first things first, we do have some screws and anchors. So if you guys want to go ahead and mount it on the wall, you can go ahead and do so. You have the mounting bracket. So basically, this will screw on on the bottom of your camera. And then this can be mounted on the wall. We have our USB brick. We also have a long USB power adapter. So this goes into the regular DC outlet and this is the USB. So pretty long guys. Let me stretch it out about an eight to 10 footer. So nice that they included this in the package. It also comes with an ethernet cable in the box. Look like it's a standard uh, three to five feet on network cable. So pretty cool. But here's the camera itself, Amcrest 1080p. You can see on the back, this is where you would actually mount this guy so you can go ahead and place it on the wall. Pretty self-explanatory. On the back, you can see our DC plug-in. We have our audio in and out. We also have an SD slot. We have alarm hookup, so you guys can hook up additional sensors. Look like we have a refresh or reset button right here. And we do have our ethernet port. So you can see you have uh, speakers right there. And this is your microphone um, right here in the front. So next thing you need to do is get this connected to your network. You can do it wired or wireless. I am doing Wi-Fi right now and I downloaded the Amcrest View app. Let's go ahead and launch it. We're gonna select Wi-Fi camera. We're gonna select Wi-Fi configuration. And now we need to scan the QR on the back of our camera. Once it's scanned, it's gonna tell you to set up a username and password. Default is admin admin, but Definitely recommend go ahead and changing that. Once you got that, it will tell you to connect to your Wi-Fi. So put in your Wi-Fi password, um, same one that you use to connect to your router with your other devices. Give it a second and it will go ahead and connect. So back over to the NAS and what I'm gonna do now is install the security or surveillance package. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my package center. Just gonna search security. You can search surveillance as well. And there it is, surveillance station. I'm gonna click install. So a couple options here, users can log into the surveillance station directly in a browser without logging into the DSM once the customized alias or ports are enabled. If you guys are planning to access this, especially outside of your home, um, this is probably a follow-up video. So I'm just gonna enable uh, the option to enable customized alias. Same thing with the port. You will have to make sure that those ports are open. So you will have to go into your router and forward those ports as well. Same thing, customize HTTPS port for login. So I'm just gonna leave those checked, but you guys feel free to um, check whatever option that best suits your needs. I'm gonna click next. All right, so here's the summary and it gives you the option to run after installation. So let's go ahead and click apply. And the application has been installed. So I'm just gonna exit out of this. And what I wanna do is just put it on my home screen here. And to do that, just go to your main menu. It's right here. Just hold and drag. And there we go. So let's go ahead and launch it for the first time. 
and basically what it's doing is opening in a new browser so just a virtual interface offers an option to help um, you can automatically launch this or you can um, just leave it as I'm just gonna click OK for now I'm gonna exit out of this looks similar to the disk station um, interface that we just left except for this is geared towards your security camera so we do have live view we have the timeline we have the IP camera we have our recordings we have our app center they do have apps specific for the surveillance station and they do have help at the bottom so first thing we want to do is add our camera so we're going to go to IP camera all right you can see nothing is in here right now I'm just going to click add and I'm going to do a quick setup and from here, you get to give your camera a name. So I'm just going to give mine an Amcrest 1. And you will need to know what IP address your camera is pulling. If you go into your router, you will see an IP address associated with the Amcrest. So I'll probably put a screenshot of that, what it will look like in your network router. So two of them, I know my two IP address, and they're both local IP. So it's 192.168.127. And what you want to do is just select the brand of your camera. I know for a fact that mine is the Amcrest IP2M 841B. So click on the drop down. I'm going to go down to Amcrest camera model. I'm going to click the drop down. So mine is the 841B. So it's the first option here at the top. So click on that. It's going to pull a lot of information, guys, including your username and password. Now, when you do set up the camera on the app, you were prompt to create a username and password. If you guys left it as admin, then you might just use admin admin, but definitely recommend it. Just change the password at least. So I went ahead and did that. So let me put in my new password. I'm just going to leave everything as is. They do have audio format, video format, and you can go ahead and play with that, whatever you prefer. All right, so I'm just going to leave mine as is, and now I'm going to test the connection. Connection successful. You can see it pulled up a picture of my garage there. I'm just going to hit finish. And now I'm just going to add the second camera that was sent out to me. So I'm going to add again. And there we are. Both cameras are activated. So now that we have a cameras added, we do have a, a lot of useful information right here on the side panel so home mode you can set certain presets for your when you're home versus when you're away and that's probably another video from here you can see the client management so from here these are the devices that are actually linked to my surveillance system so i do have the web client which is what we're on now we do have the ds cam this is on my actual phone and we do also have the native client and this is the one that's on my desktop we'll be showing you that in a little bit so let's go ahead and launch a live view and here we are so pretty cool you have your main controls right here so you highlight which one you want to control kind of move it around and you can't make this full screen single or double whichever way you choose so move it around some more and this is a uh, night time you can see the night vision is pretty good you can go up and down as well And you can go ahead and zoom in right here. Now this is the digital zoom, but still pretty good, especially against the night vision. So really, really cool. Let me zoom back out. And you can see the difference there. Switch to this one in the garage, camera up and down. Let's go ahead and put it back up. left and right and you can see the night vision how it adjusts accordingly if you hover over the window you do have some options so you do have instant playback you can go to your settings this will bring you to the same page that we added the cameras from right there you also have the option to zoom so if you click on this it will bring you an option to um, zoom in and zoom out you do have the auto pan you can take a snapshot drag and zoom so if you click on this you can use the the scrolling of your mouse to zoom in and out you have the play pause you have your audio control mic you also have manual record and stream settings so click on stream settings you can see that different quality so if i want high quality i can go ahead and select that and over to the left, you do have additional options. So hide the show information. 
you have emap you have the option of fix aspect ratio so if you click on that you can go ahead and play with it a little bit you have the option to make it full screen right click to exit you also have your alerts area so a lot of people use the motion and this is probably the best way to go about doing it so you go to the alert panel you can see we have no events right now but if you go into management you can see you have alert history you have advanced so you do have options for an emap you also have alert reminders archives so a lot of different options here guys to get your alerts to you stream profile this is the quality so that's already set to high you have patrol and preset position digital output as well as your audio output if you remember we do have those outputs in the back of the actual camera that you can go ahead and do some additional settings from so let me exit out of here so that was your live view over to your timeline i've been recording for a couple hours now as you can see it's almost 1 a.m this is 12 a.m you can go to the previous day and the the longer you have it on the more this will fill up so you can do different things as far as finding your dates and right here if you wanted to just drag to a certain time you go ahead and do that it will go ahead and bring you to the area that you want to be like i said i've uh, only been recording for a couple hours so it is somewhat limited but you do have additional options in the bottom you can seek for a certain time a certain date Go into filters you can do all recordings or you can go down and you can disable certain things so you do have the option to see all recordings continuous record you can disable you can select it for only the motion detection so a lot of different options in here as well now if you do hover over the window you do have an option to take a snapshot drag and zoom volume you can download the footage it can also enhance the image recordings let's click on that so here we are in the recordings and uh, do a lot of different things with this. You can manage how much storage you want to use. This breaks down your footage into 30 minute increments. And as you can see, it tells you the total size. So looks like one of my camera one is on a higher quality than the second one because the same 30 minutes. You can see the size that is used. It's almost tripled. So something I need to look into and possibly change. But from here, you have the option to play, download. You can delete files. Um, you can export, mount. You have your storage options. Let's click on that this is a very important area a lot of you will probably want to restrict how much storage you use for your device so if you hit a drop down right here you can see it gives you some information i have two cameras there but hit edit and from here you can see i limited my recording to 100 gigabytes so you can go ahead and change that up and down depending on how many cameras you have what quality and how much space you have on your nas available for recording so once you select your recording when it reaches that threshold it will go ahead and start overriding go to advanced you can encrypt the folder you can select your encryption key let's go ahead and get out of here and if you go over to advanced you can see you can force it to rotate recordings when free space is less than a certain amount of gigabytes so right now it's not set to anything but if you want to set it to like 10 or 5 whatever the case may be you do have that option you do have your app center and like i said this is where you download your desktop app from let me go ahead and show you a lot of cool options here if you guys want to do some different things with the recording but if you want to scroll all the way down and go to download pc utilities and from here you can see that you have your surveillance station client let's go ahead and launch the desktop utility all right so i'm going to go ahead and sign in and like i said it's going to be the same interface but it looks a lot smoother Cameras look a little bit better in my opinion. The frame rates seem to be a little quicker as well. So definitely recommend this if you have a PC. It works great on both, but like I said, the clients is a little bit um, better in my opinion. So that's the desktop version of the application, and that's just another way to view your camera. So let's go over to my phone, and I do have it downloaded from the App Store. Go ahead and sign in. We click here and go to my view. I do have the multi view right there. And go to my cameras click on the menu go to your recordings so these are my recordings once again these are broken down in uh, certain increments look like they're um, 23 minutes on the phone snapshots nothing in there as of yet notifications nothing uh, 
do have the option to enable home mode that's probably another video for me showing you guys some of the additional uh, features so a lot of cool options with this and like i said this is a network attached storage so it does have the storage factor already which a lot of people are paying for if they go out and buy an nvr but this has it already you can dedicate how much space you need and this will always be running so the setup is pretty simple big shout out to amcrest as well as synology for sending these products out to me i will be leaving links in the description where you can pick them up if you guys have any questions about this please drop them in the comment section below as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one I'm going to go to the hospital.